welcome to another Timu haul. You guys, I'm so excited. This time around, I've got a bunch of fashion. As always, I want to thank Timu for gifting me these goodies and sponsoring today's video. And this try on is going to hit a little differently because I don't really wear dresses, but I snagged two dresses and I feel like if they fit and they look good, I may end up getting some more. But I really quickly want to give you guys the 411 in case you're new to Timu. Timu is an online marketplace that offers quality product at drastically reduced prices. You're gonna find insane deals of up to 90% off site white at all given times. And they offer every category you can think of. We're talking automotive, gardening, fashion, stuff for your pet, household, kitchen gadgets, cutie, hair, everything. It's insane, but yes, everything. I've found the most random things on there and I've snagged them because I was like, I didn't even know it existed. And aside from their deals being absolutely amazing, you can access extra deals by using the discount and the link in the description box. It's gonna allow you to get up to $100 worth of discounts. But let me get into it because I really wanna show you the product. Remember the drawstring pants that I really, 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 really liked and I was like, I need to get more? I got it in three more colors. I've got the white, I've got the dark gray, and I've got the light blue. I believe they had burgundy, uh, olive, I want to say a navy, and a brown. I snagged these because I was curious about the color and what I love about hauls and me being able to haul stuff for you guys is I'm able to feel it and let you guys know whether or not the quality is going to be any good. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set these two to the side. I'll just focus on one of the pants and of course we're going to try them on. But in case you didn't see my previous haul, you totally should. I snagged these pants in the beige and black because I felt like, you know, you can't go wrong with basic colors and if I love it, then I'll get more. Hello, we've got some more because they're that good. Now my pants are I got them 2XL. I like to size up just in case because sometimes the sizing is a little off in terms of being true to size. And so I just want to be sure because I am a bottom heavy. Now remember, I am 5'3". I am not a tall girl at all. The fabric is flowy and it's light. It has some stretch, but it's not real stretch. Like I would say if, if I had to go from 0 to 10 in terms of stretch, it's probably a 1. Like it has some, but it's kind of not but it does have a really good thick elastic band that you can, I mean, the baby is stretchy. It has active drawstrings. I really don't like pants that have the drawstrings and when you go like this, it does nothing because they're just there for decoration. So when I saw that these drawstrings actually work, I was excited about it. You are getting pockets within these pants and their fabric is thin and light, but it's not too thin where you're going to see every single thing that's underneath it. I feel like as long as whatever undergarment you wear under the pants is more of a neutral shade, you should be okay. And I got these the same size I got the other two. It's going to fit pretty loose on my waist, as in I do have to tighten it, which is why, why I was so happy that the drawstring actually works. But because I am bottom heavy, it just hits right in the right places and it's loose in the right places. I'm a mom of two. I have a mom pooch, okay? So I don't want to emphasize that and these just kind of like just hit the places like I said the right way. I was slightly concerned about the length of the pants as well, but they actually fit really nicely. They're very comfortable and I find that these pants are going to be amazing for anyone who is expecting or after expecting you want to be comfortable. You can either pull the band over the belly or under the belly, however it is that you want to wear them. And they're just great for casual wear. I would pair this with a nice kind of like tighter top, not loose, because I wouldn't go loose at the top and loose at the bottom with some nice sandals. I'm really impressed with these pants and I'm actually excited to go shopping on Timu. I want to see whether or not I find tops that would go with the pants well. I'm going to show you one of the dresses I got. I got it in black because I just wasn't sure how that would work. I believe this is called a maxi dress. Again, I don't really wear dresses like that. I have dresses. I just don't wear them. So I wouldn't know, right? I got them in a large and I was hoping it would fit. So it's your basic kind of looks like a tank top, but it's not. And then this baby is long. Like it's long, long. The fabric feels like legging fabric. It's nice and soft. It's comfortable. It has a nice kind of like stretch to it. So it's not this tough fabric that you won't be able to move around in. When it came to the dress, I was very concerned about the length because it looks so long and I am short, but it the length is just perfect. It covers all the right areas. 
I was impressed that it had pockets. It was, I didn't even know it had pockets. I got so excited to see that it had pockets. And I don't tend to show a lot of my skin, a lot of body. I've always been that way. I'm very tomboy-ish. So the fact that this just covered up but it still made me feel feminine is amazing. I feel like with some flip-flops, some cute little sandals, and the right accessories, makeup, and hair, it's gonna look amazing. The reason why I thought it would be a good idea to snag these items is because Timo is a place where you can literally get everything and I'm getting ready to go on vacation. I needed to snag a few items for myself and a few items for my girls. So I figured what if I can find some of our vacation clothes at Timu? That would be amazing because it's super affordable. And so I was on vacation mode, i.e. Um, those pieces that I just showed you, but I got another dress and it's white. Why would I get white? I don't know. I can't keep anything white, but the dress was so pretty. The top of the dress has thin straps. I love that they are adjustable, which is a plus because if I need it to be nice and tight, I can kind of tighten it. But if I need it looser, then that works. You're getting a double lined dress. So although it is white, people will not be able to see through to your undergarments because you have like the inner lining to kind of like filter through so people won't be able to see that I know it looks really simple but the the print on the fabric is so nice so when I saw it I was like okay I kind of want to wear that dress I kind of want it I'm only comfortable wearing dresses that go past my knees it's just the jotty thing and so I was a little concerned about that because I didn't want it to be too long which is why I went with this length but at the same time I was like okay what if it's shorter than I want it to be the length is perfection it is flowy it is comfortable i was able to move around in it this was a large as well i was slightly concerned that the large wouldn't fit this doesn't have any stretch to it so that's something that you need to know like if you are not sure just double check because this is a large and this is how it fit on me i am 180 pounds and 5'3 that gives you an idea i'm smaller at the top and i'm bottom heavy girl this has no stretch so i'm glad that the large fit beautifully. I need to let you know though that the inner lining is smaller so it was kind of tight but I feel like once I move around in it it'll kind of loosen up a little bit. That was the only thing. The dress is flowy but the inner lining was a little on the tight side. Not tight to where I couldn't breathe. It stretches but I was just like oh okay she's, she's kind of tight. Now behind the scenes I went with each of the pants. I went with the dresses and I showed my mom, my sister and my husband individually at separate times because I wanted to get their real feedback and they loved the fit. They said it looks great and they already envisioned the makeup, the hair, the shoes, the accessories. They were like, okay girl, that's vacation outfit vacation mode. And I was like, yes, that's the idea. I snagged a few tops for Ty. She already has a whole bunch of shorts and jeans and that kind of thing. But I was like, okay, maybe she should get like some cute new tops. Let's see how that works. Ty's a really tall girl. So she doesn't necessarily fit in regular nine-year-old clothing. And it was just kind of hard to narrow down a proper size online that happens to me with every retailer. But I was having a conversation with my sister and she says, get her a woman's small. I think that would work. And I think we are right because based on what it looks like here, I'm gonna show them to you guys. I think these are gonna fit her. There may be one that may not fit her right, maybe way too big and then I get to keep it because it looks like it's gonna fit me well. But the other tops that I wanted for her look like they're spot on and would be perfect for Miss Tai Tai. Now remember, these four are smalls. And they're women, they're not kids clothes. Look at this tank, isn't that cute? It's not super unique, but it's super cute and Ty doesn't have anything like this. It's nice and long, so it'll go past like her jeans. It'll look really, really cute. She can wear this with like shorts. And once again, the fabric is not cheap and thin, so you cannot see through it, which is awesome. And it's super, super soft. Top number two is a floral top. And I got this one because ties into florals and I thought it would be super cute even for like a nice brunch over at the beach and all of that. So I thought this would be really cute. Same thing, it's a little tag top, just a different print and once again, Again, super soft, not a very thin see-through fabric, which is great. I think this one's my favorite and I think it's going to be her favorite. So you have thin straps. This piece here will go along your shoulder so it exposes the shoulder, arm comes out through there. It's such a pretty fuchsia and white with baby pink 
print. I thought this would look really, really nice for like a dinner, you know, with like a little skirt or even shorts. Cause you know, vacation mode, right? And it's not super long. So it's still like that flowy and pretty kind of like, ooh, I'm aired out vacation vibe. I just thought this would be really, really cute. Now this has zero stretch to it. I don't know if you need to size up or down cause I didn't get this for me. I wouldn't be able to tell you, but I feel like this is gonna fit Miss Tai Tai perfectly. She's gonna look amazing. Again, she's in school, so she's not trying any of this product right now. However, when you watch the vacation vlog, whenever, you know, I go on vacation, come back and I put that together, you guys will see these clothes on her in the vlog. And then shirt number four, which is the one that I feel like mm, kind of looks a little on the bigger side and so may not necessarily fit her in the sense of it may be too big, but it's okay because I liked it for myself, is going to be this one. Yet another tank top. It's like a nice pink and it's a gradient to a purple. Do you see how big it is? This one is bigger compared to the other ones and this was just like a regular woman's large. But we also have to remember that fashion is different so some tops are meant to be worn baggy. So I feel like this is a top that I'm gonna be able to put on and get away with and it's gonna look amazing and then on her it's just gonna be a little too big which is fine, it's cool. But I identified other tops over at Timu that I really wanna snag for Ty so I am gonna make sure that I like place an order for them but this is the top and I love the print same for it. If anything, this fabric is the same as all the other ones. It's nice and soft. It's not thin and it does have a little bit of a stretch to it. I got some other stuff that have nothing to do with fashion. I got a four piece set of pot holders. This is, I know I'm not the only one, so I'm going to tell you guys. My pot holders look like they've been in a fire and came back, have been resuscitated, then in a fire again, and then someone dropped it in a soup and then put it in the fire again. I don't know why. You know, it's one of those things like you're like, oh my God, I have to replace my pot holders. And they put it in the back burner and then you're like, eh, whatever, right? And you just keep using it because it works. The whole point is for you not to get burned. You don't care what the pot holder looks like. And so the other day I was looking at it and I was like, oh my God, like I can just order off it. Let me see. And then Timu had these. I love that it's four pieces. So you get two of this and two of this and it's super cheap. It was like less than $6 or less than $5, something like that. And this is the kind of print that I kind of go for in my house. I like everything white grays, like that rustic-y gray tone. So this just works in my uh, kitchen because I have a lot of stuff like this. It's actually pretty thick, which I'm impressed about because the ones that I have at home, like in the kitchen, that, like the ones that we resuscitated, died, came back and all that mess, whatever, fire, blah, blah, blah. This is better than the ones that I bought somewhere else that I need to throw in the garbage, okay? These, I mean, I'm so happy I got pot holders, okay? Like, it's about time. And they had a lot of options to choose from, but I narrowed down to this one. Although I kind of want like some simple black ones and then I want like some basic, maybe like white ones. Although I can't keep anything white. What am I talking about? Next, I got something that I didn't think I would ever consider using in my house. But given the fact that I have a toddler that has a mind of her own and this is her world, not, not mine, it's hers, um, I had to get it. I caved and got couch covers. I don't know why, but I've always been against couch covers on my couch. Again, I don't know why. For me, it's just like, mm, no, right? Like, no. But we got some Ottomans and Cam eats her crackers and has been doing this to the Ottomans and then people putting their feet on the Ottomans because that's really what they're for and all of that. I've, I've been so paranoid with stains going on the Ottoman people's dirty feet and that. So I ended up getting this and this, they had it in so many sizes. They had it in small. This is small, by the way. I ended up getting two because I have two Ottomans. Um, I got two of the smalls, but they had small, medium, large, and extra large. And what I loved is they had uh, like visuals of where a large would fit, where uh, a small would fit, and how to make it fit. Now this here is rounded off. So if your ottoman is a circular, like a circle one, this is gonna work for that. But if you have a square one, that this is gonna work for that. My ottoman happens to uh, kind of flip open. So this is gonna work for that. I'm just really happy. <laughs> they had it available in different colors. Weird enough, I was like, this is the closest I think that is gonna work. And this freaking works in my living room. So I'm really happy about it. It has the scrunched elastic. It has a really good stretch. So if you're not 100% sure if it's gonna fit your ottoman or what, girl, it has stretch. I got another pair of distressed jeans. I'm hoping these fit right. I got them in 2XL also, cause that's the same size I got in the other jeans. Let me just show you the distressed design. I like that it is distressed, so it's fashion, right? But it's not showing skin. 
I'm that kind of person. I'd rather not show skin than to show the skin. Nothing wrong with it, it's just personal preference. So it's distressed on either side, see? And then at the bottom, the bottom is also distressed. I'm hoping these fit as good as the other ones, so let's try them on. Okay, these slipped right on like a glove. I'm not mad at them. I'm able to stretch, I'm able to move in them. They're very comfortable and have a good stretch. It's somewhat tighter from like my hips down versus my midsection, but I find that once I wash them and dry them, you know, like any pants that have good stretch to them, once you wash them and dry them, they slightly shrink. And then you get that support that you were looking for out of your jeans. Same thing happened with the other ones. I'm super happy with them and they fit beautifully. So I'm excited for these jeans. I'm so happy I ended up snagging these and that just encourages me to want more Timu jeans. And last but not least, I've got a Timu box. It's so funny because I ended up getting a really big bag of all clothes and then I got this Timu box and I know exactly what it is and I'm so excited about it. I'm gonna like open it up to show you how it gets here, like in the box, right? And then I'm gonna build it and then show you what it looks like built. I'm hoping it's not big. Oh God, I didn't tell you what it is. This is a dish drying rack and it has this little mechanism. It's like a little leg that you stick out and it drains the water out for you because I hate it when the water kind of settles and it doesn't like drain out properly and then it gets nasty. So when you get your box, you're going to get a plain old box. And this is what the rack is supposed to look like. This is actually bigger than I thought it was going to be. I didn't want anything super big and massive. They had so many options available. I went with this one because of the black fit. I dropped something. I went with this one because of the black finish. I have stainless steel and black in my kitchen and then all the counters are granite and white. So I kind of wanted this because I didn't want something bright and white or silver that would be an eyesore. This here is the base. I actually like that this here swivels. So regardless of what side your sink is, you can move it around to adjust and accommodate it'll be either the left or the right and if you wanted to have it on a long like the long way you can always just kind of like pop this baby down this way it'll drain the water out this way the water will accumulate here there's a little bit of a, like a slant it accumulates here and then it like slides down this way and then this here pulls out isn't that great so if you don't need it you don't need it but if you need to pull it out then it like elongates now this doesn't go flat down on your counter it has little legs they're really easy you just pop them on they had so many racks available they had two tier racks one tier rack they had wide racks with like no um dividers but then they had racks with dividers i went with the one that really didn't have dividers because like where am i supposed to put my pots right pots are usually pretty big so if i'm washing a pot i can still put it in here and it'll fit i was trying to figure out what this little piece was for because this is where you would like pop your utensils into to dry onto the rack same thing it has a little like uh what is it it has a slant and this will pour the water out and it just all drains out properly. But then I'm looking at the instructions, which are so easy. You place your knives in here so that no one gets cut. It's like safe knife placement while they dry. Genius. And make sure you read the instructions because this has a little stopper. So if you're using this inside of your home and you want it to drain out, of course you want to take the stopper out. That way the water can make it all the way down. So here we go. We go goes like this. This is actually bigger than I thought it was going to be. I'm so excited. It's still small, but it's still big. Oh. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. You hook this onto here and then we are good to go. I cannot tell you how happy I am to have hauled all of these items. I'm gonna go pick up Ty now and have her like do a little fashion show with the tops because I really wanna see how they fit on her. Maybe even put it together with some shorts and start putting her outfits together. All of the items featured in today's video will be listed with their links in the description box below, making it easy so that you guys can snag any of these items when you're ready. And don't forget, Timu always has up to 90% off side wide, however. I have a link in the discount code in the description box below. Make sure you use those in order to snag up to $100 worth of coupons. And don't forget to check out my influencer choice items where you can snag my Lenovo head buds, which usually go for $19.99 for just 99 cents. And no worries, Timu offers free shipping and free 90 day returns. They accept all major forms of payment, including Klarna and Afterpay. Make sure you let me know in the comment section what your Timu must haves are. I'm pretty sure you've snagged some items that truly impressed you. I wanna know. And if you're new to my channel, I wanna invite you to join our little family here on the YouTube by hitting the subscribe button below. I upload six days out of the week, so I wanna make sure that you have fun, ongoing content at all given times. And I'm recommending two videos here on screen. I'm hoping you'll consider checking out. And if you do, I will see you guys over there. Bye guys.